today we do something a little bit different and play a little game. I want to play a little game. This isn't your average game. It's kind of like a would you rather. It's called Will You Press the Button? And right now we're just going to start. It's better I show you guys what this game is than just try to explain it because I don't really know what it's about. But i just seen people playing it and it looked really fun so I wanted to play it too. You have access to an infinite supply of hot dogs. The hot dogs are delicious and provide you with all the essential nutrients you'll ever, you'll never get fat from eating the hot dogs and you'll never get tired of eating the hot dogs. But you can no longer eat other foods in the hot dogs and you'll develop a paraphilia where you can only be sexually aroused by the sight of a hot dog. Oh. Oh, I was, I like the first part. I like how I could just eat hot dogs the rest of my life and not get fat and get all the nutrients out of them. Because let's face it, I do enjoy hot dogs. But I don't know what getting aroused by hot dogs are because that, that would kind of be like, I'm kind of be like a cannibal because I'm eating the hot, well not cannibal, but something else, something weird. I don't know what it's called. It's like I'm eating the hot dogs, but I only get aroused by seeing hot dogs. That's really weird. It's like you eat what you have sex with. That's, that's weird. That's weird. I will not. No, no thank you. You did not press the button. 28% of people have pressed this button while 72% did not. Okay, I'm with the 72%. That's bad, because I don't like it. You gain magical powers and will never grow old. Your magical powers start off very weak, but will increase with time. If you survive long enough, you will be the strongest magic user in existence and will be able to do pretty much anything you want. But. Everyone is aware of the threat you pose if you survive. Governments and secret societies will seek to kill you before you can reach your potential. Oh, oh, I gotta stay on the download then. Well, if I could do pretty much anything I want, I could kill the government officials and anybody that tries to come after me. I could probably rule the world. I will gain the magical powers. I will do it because I can take down anybody that tries to get me before you can reach your potential though. So, um, it, I mean, it'll take a while for me to reach my potential. I can keep it on the down low. But I, I would gain the magical powers, because that would be pretty cool. 67% of people press this button, and 33% of people did not. You can make out with a person of your choice, but shortly afterwards, they will vomit on your shoes. No, I don't want to make out with anybody. Making out is kind of gross, so I don't want to. And I don't have anybody on the top of my head that I would want to make out with or go out of my way sacrifice my shoes at, like having vomit all over my shoes what if i'm wearing sandals or flip-flops like it's gonna get in between my toes and it'll get on like the bottom part of my shoe and then when i step it'll be like vomit under my feet and it'll just be in between my toes and be, oh, no 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 i am not that horny next one you can breathe underwater and withstand all levels of pressure but you can never surface from underwater again so I live underwater. I wouldn't want to live underwater. I will not. I don't want to be a mermaid. I don't want to be a fishy. You get any wish from pressing the button, but you won't know if it happens. What? This button, this button right here. If I press that, I'll get any wish I want. But if I don't know what happens, but what if I wish something, like what if I wish for a plate of fried chicken right now? I think I'll know if that happens, if there's fried chicken in front of me after I press the button. I won't know if it happens, but I will know if it happens or it won't happen. This is irrelevant and makes no sense. This is like saying, I wish someone in the world will find a million dollars on the floor, but I won't know about it, you know? It's like wishing something like that, but I wanna wish for fried chicken in front of me right now or cake or food or something, some kind of cake and food. I want food. I'm hungry right now, even though I just ate, but I have nothing to lose, why not? Yeah, 81% of people press the button because you have nothing to lose. <laughs> All right, that's good, I guess, whatever. Next one, you could travel to any place in space, but you could not come back to Earth. Well, there's probably nothing out in space. I mean, you never know until you go exploring, but I would wanna come back to Earth, so I will not, I'm happy, I'm fine living on Earth completely content here with my video games and my internet. There's probably no internet and Wi-Fi and everything in space. There's there's not a lot of things in space and I would have to just discover something supreme and then how would, how would I call people back and let people know what's going on in the rest of the universe when I can't go back to Earth so I can't really communicate with them so it would be pointless so I will not. Oh, here's the video game one. You will get every video game console and every game for free mailed at home but you'll have to wear a trench coat and fedora your whole life. Removing them will kill you. Oh my god, what if I have to shower? What if I have 
to do something. Like, what if it just falls off? I'm walking outside and it's a very windy day and the fedora just, whoop, dead. Am I dead? What if I remove like half of it? Like, what if I, what if I want to wash my hair? No, it's not worth it. I will not. As much as that seems nice, I don't want to wear a fedora and trench coat the rest of my life. I mean, how much of you guys would unsubscribe? Unsubscribe. <laughs> You could travel through the time quantum leap style, phasing into another person's life, but this only occurs when you least want it to. You can't go back to the present and you will always be the officer of your gender. Okay, that is a lot of stuff in the contract that I don't want to deal with, so I will not do that. I mean, this is not something I really want to do. No. <laughs> Bad question. Okay, you love someone as much as you can, but they don't love you back. Why? Why would you say yes? No, obviously not. Why would I want to love somebody that doesn't love me back? That's awful. That's like the worst thing ever. So I would do no. Who would do yes? Let's see who did yes. 18% of people have pressed the button. Why would you say, who are these 18% of people that want to love somebody real freaking bad and don't want to be loved back? So I want to love somebody back. That you will get straight A's in school, but you will always have lunchtime detention and will always get in trouble. Well, I'm not in school, but speaking from a school point of view, I would choose all A's and have lunchtime detention and always get in trouble. I mean, lunchtime detention, you still get to eat lunch. Isn't that the whole point of lunch? I don't care about talking to people, being with my friends. Like, I wanna eat, I'm hungry, it's lunchtime. At least I get to eat. Push that button in the face. <laughs> you and one family member become supreme, immortal rulers of a perfect, happy, functional nation. That's impossible. But in order to keep the country citizens and yourself alive, you have to imprison the shit out of your only living family member for eternity. So the one that is the immortal ruler with me or another one? Cause this kind of doesn't make sense. It's like a 10 year old wrote this and it doesn't really make, actually not a 10 year old, but it just seems like someone didn't really think this through or maybe it's all computer generalized. I don't know, generalized, gen, is that even a, generated? <laughs> <laughs> generated, not generalized. I just made that word up right now. I don't know. I have some awful family members. <laughs> they they literally hate me. So if it was said family member, yes, they can. I would imprison the shit out of them. I mean, I would still feed them and do stuff for them, but they, it would be a perfect happy nation. Think of all the people. Everybody would be happy. All right. Cool. So I don't understand this because if it was my only family member and I love them, then obviously I wouldn't. But if it was someone that I didn't like and I have somebody at the top of my head, but I'm not going to say it because I think she watches my videos. You will be immortal, but no one will ever love you. What's the point of being immortal if no one will ever love you? That just, that sucks. Love over everything, guys. I know it sounds corny, but you don't want to live forever and not be loved. That sucks. Next one, you survive the world apocalypse. But the only people alive are Nicki Minaj and Justin Bieber. Okay, Nicki, I feel like Nicki would not know what to do. Like she literally would not know what to do in a zombie apocalypse. I feel like Justin would be more, more knowledgeable in a zombie apocalypse. Like I feel like he plays video games, he plays zombies, like he knows what to do. He wouldn't be like a little bitch. And Nicki Minaj, I don't, I don't know what she would do. World apocalypse, I read it as zombie apocalypse, but it's kind of the same thing. I would want to survive. An apocalypse, obviously. So I'm guessing the other thing would be I die or I survive the apocalypse and the only people who are alive are Nicki Minaj and Justin Bieber. Hmm, I wonder why. They're probably in a room together doing stuff. But sure, I can get along with them. I don't really personally have a problem with Nicki Minaj or Justin Bieber. I love Nicki Minaj. I love her song, Stupa How. You a Stupa How. You, you a Stupa How. You a Stupa How. You, you a Stupa How. And Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber seems like I would get along with him. I will do it. Yes, press the button. 61% of people did not. They would rather die than be the only ones alive with Nicki Minaj and Justin Bieber. <laughs> Next one. You can live forever, but you have to die differently each day. That's terrible. No, I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time to die and be revived every single day. I will not. That just seems tedious. But anyways, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do another one of these. This is actually really fun. Make sure you hit that like button and the face. Let's see if we can hit 5,000 likes on this video and subscribe during the wolf pack. Oh, thanks for watching. Bye guys.